Hi, hi, hi! Yes, good afternoon. It's actually evening currently, but welcome back, everybody. Welcome to I Love You, Colonel Sanders' Finger Looking Good Dating Simulator. Um, yeah, so Red brought this to me out of nowhere. You tell me to surprise him. I, I did. I did. I asked you to surprise me, and you have you have done a very thoroughly good job at surprising me. Well, you liked Doki Doki, so I thought this might be something a little more your style. Honestly, I kind of wish we would have done the Doki Doki uh, playthrough well, of this. Plus, we both love chicken. So, I do love me some chicken. And you know what? I love me some hot anime boys. Hit, hit, hot anime boys. Boom. <laughs> uh, you're not looking at a hot anime boy. You're looking at a hot anime man. A okay? Colonel. The hot anime colonel himself. Oh. The crispy man himself. See, see, do you remember those, remember those memes where like where like they used to used to see those bow ties and they're like, oh my goodness, look, I can't unsee it. His his body was actually the little arms and legs. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking that, but like I'm seeing his arms now. It's like, oh, sorry, Mr. Colonel. It reminds me of that of, the, of that well, that one commercial where where like Colonel Sanders like kind of strips out and he like bare bare chested and he's like, what was he doing? You still remember his mom? I don't even remember. Honestly, it was such a good commercial. I wish I could remember it. <laughs> um, but yeah, let's get started. Okay, so now, let's see. What well, do we want our name to be? Uh, well, last time we did Captain Red for like the last one. So, uh, for this one, let's say Welcome ch Chef. We're Chef. Who do we want to be known as if we're a Chef? Bobby Flay. No. <laughs> I mean, that'd be good, but nah. That'd be uh, really funny. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, I don't know. Well, oh. do, we, do we want to be a boy, girl, something in between? I'm we'll probably be androgynous, huh? Possibly. The name is Moy. Shafina. 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 That's just taking chef and putting Ina at the end. Well, you know what? That's feminizing the name. Oh, fine, fine, fine. Just put feminizing. <laughs> you counting the left letters? No, no, I was trying to think. All right, you know what? Just type in feminine. Wait. Gotcha. All right. All right, right. I'm a, I'm a, it's not going to be a gender neutral name. I'm sorry. Oh, it's fine. It'd be great. Oh, oh. Wouldn't oh. it be Jeff? Jeff! Jeff! What Jeff? All right. Oh, look at them biscuits. Any of those random dudes you don't know at a fast food restaurant, his name's usually just Jeff. Or Tom. Bob. Or Bob. Oh, you sleep softly in the morning. The sun casts a warm glow through the window of your or of your modest student apartment. My reading skills have improved. Yay. <laughs> oh, sh oh, goodness. The world is peaceful and serene. You can stay in the moment forever. <laughs> Excuse uh, me! Uh, oh, oh, that's giving me flashbacks. Hold on. Uh, I'm gonna read this back. Okay. Or you can wake up now, now, now! Your first day of color school is to sleep in. Ah, smack. Uh, 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 throw the clock out the window and stay in bed for uh, the first one. Just make it stop. The first one. It's still gonna be gone. <laughs> oh, full disclosure. I had a, like, alarm clock as a kid that was literally just a flippin' rooster. And it would make rooster noises. And that's just like flashbacks. <laughs> Oh, I'm in love with this boy band in the top left, by the way. It's... <laughs> Wait, chicken attack? Wait, no, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. Herbs and Spices. Is it the Spice Boys? Herbs and Spice Boys. I love it. <laughs> Wait, yeah, no, there was a Twitter where, like, where the Colonel Sanders Twitter was only, like, <laughs> only following uh, the Spice Girls and so somebody else. Oh, yeah. Um, Lang Oh, some guy named Herb. Oh, yeah, it was. Herbs and Spices. I get it. <laughs> okay. okay. Lying in bed, you stare at the ceiling, thinking about everything that awaits you at the prestigious University of Cooking School. Academy for Learning. It's a very long name. Prestige one what? Your mind begins to wander. Okay. Who will be there? What will, what will you cook? What should you wear? Time begins to fly by, and you find your imagination getting away from you. You'll need to take this seriously. You allow yourself to daydream a bit, thinking about the future. I like the last one. It's, 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 it's got, gotta be, gotta be a dreamy, gotta be a dreamy, Jeff. It's fine, it, it's finally here, something like that. <laughs> Your first day of culinary school. So many dishes to prepare, so many students to meet. 
Your mind is swimming with possibilities of when when you realize you're running late. You grab uh, a biscuit and burst out the door in a hurry. Oh no, it's like, what? oh, it's one of those things where you're like, hum, 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 hum. Oh, it's like, the, oh, Wait, are, that, we, are it, we Colonel Sanders? I don't know, but uh, it's like the anime girl with the, with the, with the toast. And she's I was out. thinking the same thing. It's in my car. Oh no. Oh, <laughs> the, I forgot, forgot what anime was from. Mmm, delicious. Just when you needed to wake up those taste buds. These biscuits. <laughs> Yikes. It, oh, you're in such a hurry, in fact, that you forgot uh, to put away your de de away. deodorant. Oh, I thought that said donut. I was like, what the? the pot donuts. Before running out the door, you're sweating buckets as you rush to arrive on time. Uh-oh. Standing in the quad, you gaze upon the magnificent University of Cooking School, Academy for Learning. Here comes your lifelong best friend, Marie. Miriam. Miriam, okay. Hey, Miriam! You're such a cutie! Ah! Uh, she does look kind of cute. She's the most adorably awkward person you've met, and you absolutely love her for it. I love you anyway. I don't know who you are yet. And I guess I do. <laughs> She's like, good morning, Jeff! Are you excited for our first day of the rest of our lives? I guess you're married now. No, please no. <laughs> you, you. I just made it up. Please no. You, you made the decision. That's your fault. Actually, I'm. Because I. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> because I sure am excited. A little nervous. Okay. Okay. A lot nervous. Ooh, what's hurt. the? You're hurting me by making me do this now. Yeah, you do it yourself. <laughs> no, you're crying. <laughs> okay. I can take a second sec here. It's just that this morning I made breakfast for myself, but, well, when I ate it, I, I couldn't taste any love in the food. What if I'm no good? What if I fail? Oh, she's crying. And look at her pose. I just she, love it. She forgot to put her love nectar in it. That's what it is. Is this an H pose? What is this? It's like the T pose, but like extra performance. steps. Yeah, T pose with extra steps. <laughs> Classic Miriam. I thought it was a Miriami. Raised by Master Chef parents, she's always held herself to a very high standard. Ever since we were little, ever since we were little babies playing together, and you rescued me from that quick sandbox. Excuse me. Quick sandbox. I just, okay. Who makes that? It's been clear to me that you're the most loving, caring person I know. You're going to be. You're going to do great. <laughs> but the University of Cooking School Academy for Learning famous three day only semesters. I'm afraid of being left behind and never catching up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> is it, what is this? Oh, it's back. It's back. A sweet girl, Miriam, has always had a flair for the dramatic. This summer, she got so nervous about her first kiss that she chit. I thought it was a chirped. She <laughs> chirped a toot. She chirped a toot. Chirped. 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 Shift the truth, practicing on a mannequin. Honestly, if I'm making out with a mannequin and it touched me back, I'm like, all right, let's see where this goes. Oh boy, uh. What do we want to do? Should you pre talk to her or change the subject to get her? Do you say pre? Prep pep talk. Oops. <laughs> pep talk your best friend. Pre talk to her. Pep talk your best friend or change the subject. School gossip. Uh, I would give her a pep talk. We got a nice one. I would, yeah. Remember last month when we saw that fortune teller and, and had our tarot cards read? Uh, the lady with the mask who gave us nightmares? I've been trying to forget. Well, I know she looks spooky, but she was so sweet. And she told you that we were destined for great things. Remember that car with the fancy looking tower? Um, no, hold on. The f that's bad. That's bad. <laughs> that's bad! <laughs> if you haven't gathered it yet, he knows a little bit about tarot cards. Oh, what's the, it's, it's literally the tower! And, oh, okay, whatever. Uh, precursor. Uh -huh. And that other card featuring the handsome fellow in the red suit. Isn't that the devil? <laughs> oh my god! I've been waiting for so long to meet a handsome fellow I could call my own. Sorry, sweetie, we're not dating you. Uh, uh, you, you should have ride for 2020 so you can drop the hottest album. <laughs> and I'm sure you will soon. In no time, we'll be graduating, and you'll be delighting the world with your heartfelt... I thought it said headbutt. <laughs> heartfelt cooking in no time at all. <laughs> Hi, nice to meet you. Bah! Oh, God. As you talk Miriam up, you can feel her nerves begin to ease. I just like... You know what? Maybe everything will be okay after all. And if not, at least I have these killer bangs. They're, 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 they're killer bangs. You look like an eggplant. 
Okay. You got me, you got me. Well, that was like a two, two, okay. <laughs> Go on. First hand eggplant. Can you believe I cut them myself? I can. I can and will. <laughs> <laughs> Alright! So Jeff, funny. you're rude! Yeah, you can definitely believe it. Oof. Uh, uh, I cannot believe it. Before you get another word out, you're rudely interrupted when someone smacks your books and custom engraved measuring spoons out of your hands on onto the ground. Hey! Oh, alright, hold that, on. That, that one's you. I I don't a young lady oh, but I don't see you. Oh man, I just it's not even a young lady, it's it's just young woman. It's something like that. It's like if it's it's like if I were a really hardcore weep, I'd be like, step on me, please. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's Ashley. Ashley Oh my gosh! It's like the girl version of Ash Ketchum. Oh no. Oh god. It's Ashley, your arch rival. She's totally evil, but you can't help but be filled with jealousy. Je jealous of her buttons, at least. My goodness. She can get anything she wants, and she knows it. Uh, hello, Ashley. Oh, I didn't see you there, chicken shins. <laughs> Oof. God, I, I, I don't look at her face in response to that. I just didn't. <laughs> <laughs> got some water gun in there or something? You leave Jess skin chi uh, skins. <laughs> Gosh, this is messing me She's up. She's got chicken on her socks. <laughs> you leave Jess shins alone. They are perfectly normal shins. Thank you. Ugh, you can't stand Ashley. You can sit. All right. Even her name is annoying. Yes, it is. It's ah. Uh. Wait, what is this? A Ashley. <laughs> Ashley. Ashley. Her name is Ashley now. You know, you know for a fact that it's actually Ashley, but she had to add extra letters to make herself feel better than everyone else. She had to add extra buttons too, apparently. Oh, oh yeah. If anyone here knows what its perfect shins look like, it's us. Do we know? Do, yeah, do we? Uh, How do we know that? We're not gonna let you. We're not gonna let you or your really weird insults get to us. I know that was a really weird insult. Across the quad, you see Ashley's best friend, Van Van the Man. Hold on, I can't. Van Van the Man Man. I read it right. I just why? And I extra words to make itself feel special, I guess. Van. I need a breeze. Stop. Van Van the Man Man has stopped to look at his own reflection in the mirror. His pants are so tight, you can see his see him actually working out his glutes while he styles his hair. Why? Honestly, come on, Ashley. <laughs> Ahem! Ben Ben. Is that your voice? Yo! You're right. <clears throat> you want to do this one? Yeah, yeah. You want me to do this? Yeah, yeah, do it. <clears throat> you rang, rang. <laughs> he is just beautiful. Look at that <laughs> star! <laughs> he looks like he's. Oh, his, that's the kind of hair I want. His colors look like a. Dead, a flippin' reindeer, man. I... He's... He's not even wearing a shirt! It's just a jacket! No, it's a collar with buttons and a front cover. <laughs> and a ginormous belt buckle. You know what? Working on Blues Boy. I just... How do you think your hair to hold a star like that? That is... Mm, whatever. He's Dan Dan the Man Man... Or Van Van the Man Man. <laughs> He's double the man, baby! Uh... You've never, never been sure what their arrange arrangement is, but as long as you've known them, Ashley and Van Van have been just as close as you and Miriam, but substantially more devious. No, don't be evil, baby. I, ca I can't believe the University of S Cooking School, Academy of- Stop saying the full thing! School! I don't know how to- Okay, I'll be back. <laughs> Would ever allow people like you to attend as students. I know, right? <laughs> I completely forgot her voice already. Make one up. Go ahead. We're, we're getting there. Why do you look like you're morphing into a turtle? Right? I'm trying to chill a bit. Alright. I know, right? You'd think they'd just hand us our diploma by now. I'm still working on it. <clears throat> Or maybe hire us as a profession. Oh, oh wow. Or maybe hire us as prof 
Professionals, goodness gracious. <laughs> this thing's got us all flustered. I am so sorry. Pro Professors. Yeah. <clears throat> you amateurs couldn't learn could learn a thing from us. I can't speak like this. I uh, know, we gotta project. Uh, With the first day of school about to start, there's just not time to properly tell these two off, so you resist the urge. Let's go, Miriam. Uh, Let see you later. Mm, who are you? As you approach the door, you see a goofy-looking kid pushing hard through the window directly next to it. <laughs> Oopsie! I, I think it's broken. You reach forward and easily pull the door. <laughs> uh, that should do the trick. I love you. <laughs> I just met you. <laughs> think you mean thank you? My name is Pop. I was named after my Pop Pop. Okay, you know what? Oh my He's gosh. old. Oh my gosh. This is the name. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Could someone like this all be a student at the school? He must be one heck of a chef. Also, his name tag clearly says Bob, but I guess he's reading upside down. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm gonna die. Oh god. Hi, <laughs> hi, Pop. I'm Jeff. So, uh, are you gonna make me hold this door all day? Uh, no. And with that, the young man walks into the building ahead of you. Ah. Is it just me, or is he kind of cute? Oh, man of your dreams, right there. <laughs> I think it's just you. He's just like a little chicken leg. He looks like you. Got a little chicken leg. Mm. You both shrug your shoulders before following him into the building. Oh, look at this. Well, who is this? Uh, Ooh. if anybody knows who that is, please tell us. <laughs> Comment down below. I feel like it's a character from Frasier, honestly. You know what? He might be a 90s TV show character. You stand at the edge of the room, unsure of where to sit. Other students wander in and keep themselves busy chit-chatting. Excuse me? A scruffy-looking pooch takes his place at a podium at the front of the class. Adorable. <clears throat> oh, it's Sprinkles! Quiet down, everyone. <coughs> All right. Who is this unreasonably cute pup? And no, it's Bub. <laughs> Bump. And why is he? Why is he in our culinary class? Uh, you must be Sprinkles, head instructor and CEO of UCSAL. Thank you for abbreviating that. I hated that. I already well, I forgot the voice. Oh. Hey. Well, well, now, now, oh, yeah, please call me Professor Dog. I may be cute and a little fluffy, but I still demand respect. Wolf! Wolf, I say! Wolf, wolf! Stop! Wolf, wolf, Miriam! What? A cute dog is our professor? This is the best school ever! No exclamation point, though. <laughs> I guess a dog, I guess only a dog's nose is capable of picking up all the nuances of fine dining. Out of nowhere, wind begins to rush around you as a swirl of cherry blossoms, cherry blossom petals fill the air inside the classroom. <laughs> I'm chilly. Someone close the window. And then, oh no, he's hot. The Colonel. Hold on, Big B. Why are you? You can't just walk in like that. You're like final boss material. <laughs> You're immediately swept up in the aura of this new student. He's a student. <laughs> Hold on. Things just took a turn. Yeah, I know. You're immediately swept up in the aura of this new student and his remarkable go-to. God, my God. Who knew anyone could be so handsome? Time stands still. As we realize to stand was the world. It's... It's him! It's... Oh, yeah. If it isn't my favorite student, Harland. Colonel Sanders interrupts Sprinkles. <clears throat> Sorry, Professor Dog, before he can finish his sentence. Oh, it's. Oh, do I, oh, am I playing this? Or do you want him? You got him, I did the dog. Oh, no. You uh, got the. You got the <coughs> boy <-o> himself. <coughs> I gotta channel the. Gotta channel the chicken. 
Man, how do I want to do this? You could do it southern style, or you could do it sexy style. And I would go with sexy style. You say that, I'm like, oh, he's going me. Give me your sexy voice, go. I, oh, God. I, mm -mm. Please, call me Colonel. Colonel Sanders. All right, Bond. <laughs> A hushed murmur rolls through the classroom as Colonel Sanders walks down the aisle of desks. Suddenly, the room's sweltering. No f clue. Yeah, I'm hot as balls, baby. Sweat begins to beat across your brow. You feel like everyone is looking at you, and you're not entirely wrong. And, and this over here must be sweaty. Sweats a lot. Oh, I've got to figure out the voice again. Um, deep, maybe, maybe we could open up a window back, uh, uh, back up before... You know, Francis, Francis, Fawcett, Rock, Fawcett Pitts melts into a puddle and evaporates entirely. Oh, yes. I've got estimates. Yeah, you're, you're starting to go country there. I know. <laughs> Still you? Oh, yeah. Hold on, it's just a sec. Hold on just a second. Nobody tell Ox to my friend like that. I'll mess you up, I swear. I swear to you, I will. I'll, I'll keep you in your shins. Your imperfect shins. Uh -huh. <laughs> you two both. No, my name. We we were in the same kindergarten class. And what is with all your really weird <laughs> insults? And besides, when Jeff and swears it's not gross, it's beautiful. Look at that shimmer. Why are you, why are you so excited? My my armpit sweats. Uh, no. Can I give? Can I give another option? If you turn and he's standing in front of you. You got no other option. Um, he's looking right at you. Um. Colonel Sanders, beautiful angel that he is, stands before you, smiling gently, his hands outstretched. Boy, howdy. This classroom gets hotter than the Kentucky Friar. Goodness gracious, what are you... Mm, you're, you're really hot-talking me now. <laughs> Please, use my handkerchief. Okay! Alright, Sween! <laughs> he frees up. Colonel Sanders is talking to you. And you apparently his handkerchief is his hand. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Okay. Wipes it off. <laughs> Wait, Colonel Sanders is talking to you about how sweaty you look? You, you, you're completely mortified. This can't be your first interaction. What if he never forgets this moment? Uh. You take the handkerchief or refuse the handkerchief? Take it. I, I take, take it. it. Yeah. I'm in love with the boy already. You stretch, you stretch out your hand, and Colonel Sanders places a fine silk handkerchief in it. Oh, that was your hands. It's so beautiful. You hesitate to press it to your face, but when you do, the feeling is transcendent. It has its natural scent on it. What am I so weird about this for? It smells of the most delicious chicken you've ever smelled. Oh my gosh. I don't know, man. Professor Dog steps in to settle the class down and set some ground rules. No one fucks the colonel. Welcome to the University of Cooking School, Academy for Learning, the greatest culinary academy in the world. Okay. The birthplace of culinary legends, past, present, and future. Many challenges await you. There will be tears. There will be blood. There might even be really a f adorable TV food. <laughs> and when it's all said and done, there will be a battle. You will lift your sport orcs and complete the broom cooking or complete the broom, broom eh. <laughs> compete in the broom cooking arena. Sorry, I had a little hairball even though I'm a dog. <laughs> so Oh he's cute again. Sorry, I thought I saw a cat. <laughs> <laughs> Just then they another like student enters the classroom and interrupts the professor's rousing speech. Are you? <clears throat> I'm just using a regular voice for this one, I think. Hi guys, sorry I'm late. Hope everyone had a good summer. Really, miss. A oh, quiet! <laughs> late to class is bad enough, but interrupting my monologue? Sure, you're on the fast track out of here, young man. Here you. Oh, are you sure you're even the right in the right place? I can't speak. I keep thinking <laughs> I see a cat. <laughs> Don't you reckon? Oh well. Don't you recognize me? This is my third year in school with you as my uh, teacher. Failure to begin with. Everyone stares at him blankly. Does no one remember me? I'm. 
You're expelled if you utter one more word before I finish. <laughs> let me, let that be a lesson to you students that tardiness is unacceptable. Unacceptable. <laughs> Avon Clark made it here on time, rolling halfway across town on his teeny wheels. You turn to see the student speak, uh, Sprinkles is referring to, who appears to be some sort of industrial kitchen appliance. Oh! Oh god! You get to be a kitchen appliance. Oh! What's up? <laughs> Look at him, so stupid! Oh, he blinks. Okay. The class burst into laughter. Oh, Clank. You're a rascal. <laughs> Sprinkles walks in the classroom. Yeah. As everyone stands in silent obedience, when he gets to you, he lifts his nose into the air and takes a deep whiff. Yes, what I guess. Hmm. Your diet is lacking. Based on what I'm picking up here, you definitely need a multivitamin. You should be taking better care of yourself. You've never had a talking dog as your teacher before, but Sprinkles his reputation for being smart but tough is well known. Oh. Oh. You decide to try and butter him up by giving him a treat from your pocket. But what kind of treat? I wonder if a beef treat might be. Uh, well, it's all about chicken. But he has so much chicken, man. Well, why would he teach about chicken if he didn't like chicken? Same as, like, people who teach algebra. Well, if you want to offer him a rubber ball and give him on the stereotype, you can. No, I don't give him a beef treat. Well, because, like, like, why, why, why? Like, I, I get it. Chicken, we, we're in a chicken society. We, we have chicken in our pockets. I just find it really interesting that we have, like, Slim Jims in our pocket or something like that. He also might be insulted if you give him anything but chicken. Honestly, let's go with chicken. You, you reach beneath your apron and return with a chicken snack in your hand. Sprinkle's eyes go wide as he locks onto it. His favorite! Well, well, well. I think that there might be some competition for the new star student. <laughs> the furry professor immediately devoured the snack, leaving your hand slick with a coating of warm, doggy drool. You see the other students eyeing you jealously. <laughs> but, pay, but pay no mind. If, the, if they wanted to succeed in life, they should have learned the importance of carrying a range of dogs treat flavors on them at all times. I knew I was going to have a talking talking dog teacher. That's why I had these. Well, settle down on young chefs. Take your seats and prepare to have your minds open to the amazing possibilities of culinary creation. As everyone rushes to claim their seats, their favorite seats, you're left standing at the front of the classroom. Only two options remain. Oh, don't make me pick. Alright. Alright, so I say we call it here. Oh man. What choice will be made? Your best friend Miriam? Or the really slim, sexy Colonel Sanders? Well, first of all, I like tan girls, right? But <sighs> Colonel, you just rocked that apron, my goodness. So, but she's wearing the ascot. I love it. Well let's get let's, let's actually get to the choice. But he's also got a bow tie. He does have a bow tie. And a pin in his sleeve. Alright, well, I'm gonna finish it up real quick so we actually get to the choice. Hey, Jeff, there's still a seat here. Oh, God, it's me again. Ugh. It seems that no one has claimed this seat next to me. You're, if you're interested. Oh, ah, the choice in the next video. The choice. <laughs> well, it was fun. Let's find, let's find out what we do together next time. Next on time Mono. on Mono Squares.